New Orleans was always in my heart when I went out and traveled and moved to other parts of the country uh, because I grew up here. I mean, I'm a child of Highway 90, and I, I really believe that. So, and New Orleans was the first city that I came away from, and I went to college, uh, you know, 90 miles up the road. So it's pretty ingrained in what I do is this is the base out of which I came. And we feel it in your shows, and I, I listen to quite a, a few of your shows on Radio Margaritaville. Yeah. They're, they're playing all the time, and I get the impression with everything that you have done in your life, with the books and all the business and everything else, I still genuinely get the feeling listening to you play that you're at your happiest when you're on that stage bringing summertime to everybody in the audience. It is, I mean, it's coming up. I mean, we got a beautiful day here. Um, and I came out, uh, I thought it was great because it's kind of a festival atmosphere and I got to hand it to the promoters who did this show. They really kind of have put this thing together to make it comfortable for us as performers. And uh, I wasn't quite sure because it's kind of out of our element. We usually kind of roll in, in our own circus, you yeah, know? Yeah. And the unbelievable kind of diversity of the acts here is wonderful. I got to, I'm a big Black Keys fan. They wanna get my you know, I love seeing bands that are playing live that have loyal followings uh, that I've been fortunate enough to have for 40 years, you know, because there's, to be quite honest, there's a time where you think, Where's the, where are the great live performers that are 20 years old? Yeah. Well, a lot of them are here this weekend. Absolutely. Black Keys among them. I was so thrilled to get yeah. a chance to not only speak with them exclusively like you and I are doing now, but to watch them perform a band that sold out Madison Square Garden in 15 minutes. And you know that doesn't happen very often it's in life. It's a good feeling. The unique thing about you, look, a lot of artists, when fans come to meet them, they'll say, oh, I saw you in concert in Oklahoma, or, oh, I, I, I bought that record when, and they'll give you a little story. You're probably the only guy who has fans coming up to you and saying, oh, I, I have your margarita maker. Uh, oh, I, I, stayed at your, I stayed at your hotel. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's, that's, that's kind of cool. Well, that's to the point that we were lucky enough to kind of create a brand as we went along and it's pretty authentic you know it's uh, I still do those things and uh, and the things that I like to do have kind of become you know a part of the brand and uh you know, I just, as I said, I don't know anybody that wouldn't want to spend two weeks at the beach, and that's exactly. worked pretty well. What, what is the strangest item that somebody has ever approached you and, and asked you to perhaps license and slap your name on? Oh, God. Uh, Something that you, you said, I don't think that that's I'd said me. no to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, there, there were some interesting things. There was, uh, there was like a, a guy had a thing that he wanted to, like, he could, you could put... Uh, you could kind of shave your name, or you could shave like a fin onto a dog, like you could, you know, it was like a, a trimmer. Onto an animal. And I went. No, not for you.